Here's a fun design element for your courses, and that is these uh, page curl sticker effects. And they're a really nice way to uh, kind of um, use them in place of maybe post-it notes or stickies or tape and paper. But um, nice way to add just a, a subtle design element for emphasis in your courses. If you wanted to write some text on them, you could, or just as another uh, uh, navigation technique for just for an example. But it's really simple to create in PowerPoint. So let's take a look at how to put this together. Now I am in 2010, but uh, this pretty much works in, um, I, I'd imagine any version with these shapes. The shape we want to work with, the one that's easiest, is the chord. So it kind of looks like a semicircle. And I'm just going to hold down my shift key and drag one out. And let's go ahead and just give it a uh, nice fill. And I'll use a, I'm using a gray here. This, this effect really works well if you have it on a, um, like a, a darker background, then you can have that white outline. It really makes it pop. But um, let's just uh, make that a little bit bigger. Okay, that's good enough. So a couple options here, but basically I just want to create another um, sort of semicircle or chord that just curves right here. So the fastest way for me is just to hold this, um, hold the control key down and then just click and drag. And let's just drag these uh, handles over just a little bit. And all I want to do is just drop it in place right there. Now I like working like this because I don't have to do a lot of rotating. You know, when you start having to rotate it, then it always gets, seems like it's a little bit more work to get it just right. And I might have to make that just a little bit bigger. But the idea is that you just want to drag these handles in place so that you can kind of create this overlap, this overlap fold. And um, holding my control key down and using my arrows, okay, I do need to make it just a little bit bigger. All right, not bad. I'm going to go ahead and remove the, um, uh, the fill from this. So the fill, let's put it to the gray, and <laughs> basically that's it, right? Um, double click it once, bring open shape effects, add a shadow, which way do I want it to go? Maybe like that. Pretty snazzy. And then of course I can you know, modify that shadow a little bit just to do some different things with it. Uh, you know, maybe make it a little bit blurry, give it some more depth, and then uh, work on that angle, push it out a little bit more distance. Anyway, there's the effect. Go ahead and just group them, and you can just come in here, double-click, and change the fill all day long, and you have a really quick uh, page curl sticker effect. Obviously, the, the, you can adjust the, uh, the peel, right? So you can, um, if you had it with the cord, you can make it uh, bigger or smaller, so you don't have to have it uh, so small. So you can bring it over here, and then just make this thing a little bit smaller, right? And you can make a, a different effect. So kind of a fun way to add some accent elements to your uh, e-learning courses.